There we go. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Diamond Dynasty Baseball coming your way on the show. It's the Raiders going up against the Buckeyes. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Huh. What is the score? Oh my god. What is your record? I'm 3 and 0. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm like a. I, I think I'm like a 186. In the air, center field. Acuna there. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Here's Mookie to hit. Foul ball. Check swing, but he went too far, and it's nothing in two. And down on strikes he goes. Two gone. Two outs, bases empty. Cedric Mullins getting ready to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Uh, I was about to say, I mean, do you have the Lindor card? I know he's not that fast, but the reaction time. His reaction time makes up for it. I think so. He's been great for me. That's because I've always loved playing with his cards. Yeah, that 98. And the righty deals. And fouled off. Oh my god, Quan just got hit in the head. Towards first. Conquest. Olsen takes it himself. Hold up one down. Good slider inside right there. Batter um, fighting to get there. Just for 30k. XP. I'm thinking. Pitch misses inside, and it's one and oh. What haven't you had in a while? Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's the right fielder. Mitch Hannock, the right fielder. Yeah, I haven't eaten in it in a while. That's because I'm so sick of how long the lines take. Oh! Oh, Jose almost crushed that. To watch him play, and in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down, and he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Now at the plate, Corey Seager. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Pick off move to second, and they got it. One 
down, base is empty. Brown ball to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That can set him up to go deep into this game. That's out number three. Bottom of the second. And here is Josh Bell. Strowman back to work. And the slider catches Dude, Fran Mill has had a shitty start to the year. My God, Fran Mill. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it off. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. Next pitch inside. Now one and two. Here's Bell with a blast deep to right. And it's gone. Oh. Nice. Dude. I love this Josh Bell card. Really? I'm do I'm doing so good with him. Really? I just hit my third home run with him. I'm batting what with Carson Kelly? 750 with four home runs. Ah, we just went out there. Next to hit, Ronald Acuna Jr. Big time power. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Ground ball, left side. You'll walk. Swing, and this one's bounced on the ground. Whips it across. They get the out on Acuna. Gets him easily. All set for the start of the inning. Here is Matt Olson. Oh, you called me? I guess you did. Oh, I guess it was like... As soon as I got got it online. Up the middle, Lindor picks it up, sends it to first, and Olsen is set down. Here's the catcher to hit, Matt Nelson. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. A swing and a soft liner, and it goes just <laughs> no. Oh, the monksy one, onesy, the funky monk. Yeah, <laughs> every time he says it, dude. <laughs> Nobody. Honestly, I know Matt Vasgersian and Plazak and Derulo got old, but I kind of miss them. <laughs> you can usually see see scenes. <laughs> Anything over a hundred, you're seeing a white blur. I miss it. Dude, his card, I, I he gets rocked. Out towards right center field, Mullins on the move to his left. He makes the grab, and there's one away. Francisco Lindor, the next to hit. Francisco Lindor. Out 
near to center. Mullins puts the squeeze on that one. And a couple of quick outs. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Mickey Mantle. And that's a base hit. Hey. Jose Ramirez digs in now. Very draining. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now here is Mitch Hanneker. Back to the bow. Throw on to Olsen. And they take care of How do we like the, uh, the zone lock? I, I don't ever use it. Francisco Lindor. That one fouled off. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Here's Mookie now. They say it went. Out to short. Lindor on the first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. What do you feel about the Marcus Stroman card? This is my first time ever pitching with him online. He has a slider. The sinker? No, he has, yeah, that's like his best, best pitch. That's right. That one to first, and that's just foul. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. That one misses. Full count now. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Welcome back. Leading off, Josh Bell. Shohei just hit his first home run of the year. The right hander back to work. Ball one there. He's been struggling, but still the beginning of the year. Next pitch has popped up. Vladdy, though, looks like he's. <laughs> Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Or let me just say, if the Blue Jays would have made the playoffs, there probably would have been a better chance that he beat Sho Shohei. Definitely a swing and miss slider. True. And he finished that really well. In like a hundred years. Has a beat on Compare. It. That's what, yeah. That's the grab for the second out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So up next, Carson Kelly. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Here's a Cunha now. Longoria handles the chance. The throw to first. Third out. And that ends the frame. Ready now for the fifth inning. It's Aaron Judge now. He's a guy who does it all. 
with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. And a 1 0. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And a swing and a miss, and now one away. So digging in, Corey Seager. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, out towards left center. Got it! Really had to move for that grab. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Grounded out his first time. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Swing and he breaks his back. And that's the third out. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Marcus Stroman. Pitcher, a line to kick the pitch. She strike. Next offering is in for a strike. And Judge makes the catch. One away. So up next, Francisco. Fuck <laughs> Francisco. And he hits a ground ball right side. The tag and he's out. Now the left fielder, Mickey Mantle. And he's already singled in this game. And a foul ball, third base side. <laughs> This batter has to understand his job. Did you win? Base, however he can. He there you go. Pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles, but you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. The one one. You walk off on him. Into center and a base hit. Mm -hmm. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jose Ramirez. Now, the third base hit. Dirt. Yeah, from uh, 20, from uh, MLA 20, how you would win, but post some ugly stats with him. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the <laughs> skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Two and one now. And there's a foul ball. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. There and gone. Mitch Hannock now at the plate. That one's in there on one. I don't like that on him. Take care of Hanniger for the out. That ends the frame. So they got that money from Double down. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. They say you went. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, Very good. Johnson runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. I uh, just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. 
else in. Now the box comes up empty with a swing there. Next pitch in the dirt. And that is ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Space is empty. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Johnny Damon. And yeah, first offering is fouled off. Now he breaks his back. Saved. What an effort there to save the perfect game. But it's broken up on an infield hit. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. And that one is lifted in the air. Acuna sizing this one up. Brings it in for the third out. back bottom of the six and now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell the first baseman. Josh. and a pitch Bell. and that's outside to the right side Olsen handles the chance here's the tag and he's out so digging in Corey Seager he's got the power Great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. In there, and it's 0-1. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. Now batting. Catcher. Carson. Kelly. In the air, out towards right center. And Aaron makes a nice grab out there. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play for pure. In the dirt, blocked. Right-handed reliever. And now maybe extra bases. Mullins whips it back in, and that holds the runner at third base. Marcus Stroman will hit next. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. At the belt fires. The door. And the inning is over. Welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Mookie Betts. Stroman back to work. Swings and misses. Strike one. On the ground to third. Ramirez collects it. Over to first. 
And Betts is gone. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Lifted in the air right center field. Hanniger makes a move towards the gap. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Judge at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Judge rips that one. Hanner makes the catch, and that'll do it. Set for the last half of the seventh. Stepping in, Francisco Lindor. Here comes a pitch. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Did one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. So a man aboard. Mickey Mantle getting ready to hit. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. So they're at the corners now. Now it's the power speed combo. Jose Ramirez. That first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. That one ripped left field. That's back. Makes the catch up against the wall. He's in on the sacrifice fly. And it's 4 nothing. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Hanniger stands in now, looks at that one inside. Mantle, the base runner at first with one out. Next pitch downstairs, and now 2-0. Oh. Next one misses, all three. In for a strike, now 3-1. and he couldn't come up with it. Here's Josh Bell. That one is hammered right field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. One out, base is empty. Seeger stands in down. Down pass, second baseman. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. Here's the catcher to hit, Carson Kelly. The catcher, Carson. The door gloves it. That's the second out. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. And now the pitcher, Marcus Stroman. Now the pitcher, Marcus Stroman. In there for strike one. Acuna off the first with two away. Makes the play, and it's out number three. We're at the top of the eight, and here's Corey Seeger to hit. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Base hit. So up next, Evan Longoria. 
bounced up the middle. He sneaks through, makes hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Here's Matt Olson. Now Matt the first baseman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. First and second here, no outs. The next offering misses, and a count is 2-0. Swag in the miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Matt Nelson now digs in now. Grounder might be two. Seeger. Off balance beat. There's one. Throw to first. Safe. Your attention, please. Here's the pitcher, Jim Edmonds. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is fouled back. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And he deals. And downstairs. He's a guy with a big time fastball. Lots of velocity, but I think the thing that's most impressive is that he commands it so well. As a hitter, when you step in the box against him, you better be ready to swing it because it's coming, it's coming hot, and it's going to be in the zone. And there's a hit. So, right report to start the inning. And at first, Mickey Mantle now, now at the plate. And he grounds one back up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now it's Jose Ramirez. The third baseman. Dives, and he can't hang on. Olsen to second, and he'll be safe at first. Okay, Breezy. Bye, Breezy. Oh, my God. Fun out of here, too, man. <laughs> All right, buddy. Later, man. Peace. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Francisco Lindor. Stroman back to work. Late swing, foul to the left. Indians. A foul ball, he stays alive. And one and two. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Acuna there. Puts the squeeze on it. One down. Here's Mookie Betts. Soft contact in the air, so Mookie bets with a base hit. Now it's going to be Cedric Mullins, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Now that's smack to right center. Can't get their base hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position. 
and just one out. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Going to as he waves at that one. That hits the dirt, and yeah, the count one and two. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Corey Seager, the next to hit, one for three. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. Now, clearly, they didn't want to mess with them right there, so I think it makes sense to play the numbers game in this spot. And first offering is fouled off. Chopped in the ground, but foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. This to third. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. So it's their last chance in this one. And here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. And fought off foul. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Next offering is downstairs. That one misses, and the count's even at two. Next pitch misses, three and two now. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate, and he walked him. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there, and now forces home a run with the wall. Sennings definitely getting away from it. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two outs, bases are full. Out to short. Base hit, one run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and it's 8-4. Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. Trying to protect his lead. Yeah, first offering is fouled off. They say it went. Got him. Ball game. No, a three pitch save. This guy might feel cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game, wants to show off his arsenal, and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you get that save and do it efficiently, he'll be ready to pitch tomorrow. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.